Hey, it is Kenny from Kenny's Audio File Rank Reviews. Thanks very much for viewing my channel. I deeply appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. That would help me out, and I appreciate that as well. In this video, in the same fashion that I did with my analog setup, where I featured, gave a closer look at my turntables in my phono stage, I'm going to do the same thing with the digital side of my system. These components were featured in my room system tour. Uh, in this video, I'm going to give a, a little bit more closer and detailed look. I'm going to feature my SACD player, my high-res player, my DAC. I also have a player that plays SACDs and DVD audios. I'm going to show you that. And I also have a couple of alternate CD players I'd like to show you. In the comment section below, if you're into digital, if you have a CD player, SACD player, whatever you listen, listen to or listen on, please leave your... Um, set up in the comment section below to share with the community. I don't look down on people and their equipment. I, I really don't. There's, like I said in my other video, there's joy in every price range. So uh, don't be ashamed. Leave your uh, whatever you're listening on in the comment section below. So I'm going to uh, repost your phone and turn uh, flip the camera around. So you're going to expect a, uh, a rise in the volume. So please be prepared to, uh, for that. Okay. These are my um, some of my players here. This is my SACD player, my high res player, and this is my DAC. This SACD player, hope you can see the detail, is a Sony XA 9000 ES CD Super Audio multi channel player. I purchased this approximately, gosh, 15 years or so, brand new. And it sounds it sounds really good. Now I have the option with uh, this SACD player and my high res player to connect directly to my um, preamp and also directly to my DAC, so I can play them directly, play music directly from these units or through the DAC. This is my Sony HAP. Z1 ES high res player has a built in hard drive, and it's really nice. And this is my Luxman DA06 DAC, has multiple inputs optical, coaxial, and USB. So, I'm going to show you an example of uh, processing. A played CD through the deck. So I'm going to play a CD. And I'm going to go up to the deck. And it's, it's connected to coaxial 1. And you see it, it shows it's playing a 44.1 16-bit file CD. Now my CD player is in high-res player. Um, have digital, optical and RCA outputs and that's how I connect them to the to the DAC digitally so this is my Sony XA 9000 ES as I said before and we're going to give a little closer look at the um, the Sony HAP Z1 ES high res player I'll go back to the main menu and this can be e either controlled through the interface here on front or through an app. And I have the app, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. But this is a front panel where you can select songs, uh, genre, artists, albums, tracks, folders. You set up your folders. This will sense the type of music you listen to. You know, playlist, set up a playlist, your favorites, music server. You can import a CD and settings. Now, I'm going to go to show you this real quick, and that is music services, I should say. And through this is connected through Wi-Fi, so I can listen to radio stations on this um, on this unit. See if I can briefly show you some local local stations. So I listen to local FM, for example. That's just a short example. 
and also local AM as well, and internet only as well. So it's a very versatile player. So I'm going to go back and select an artist. I'm going to select, in this example, I'm going to select Miles Davis and show you how it's processed through the deck. Like I said, I can play it directly from here, from the player to my preamp, or I can process through the deck. This is a list of Miles Davis uh, songs I have, or albums I have. I think I have most of the Columbia CDs on here. I'm gonna go to Kinda Blue. So you can find that real quick, Kinda Blue, okay. Now three different versions. One's a 16-bit, um, one's a high-res, and one's a, um, a DSD. Now I'm gonna play this one. This is a 192 kilohertz 24-bit. And I'll play that. Now this is processed through the USB input, USB digital input. As you see, it reports 192 kilohertz. Now I'm gonna go back and select the DSD version. This is a DSD version. As you can see, it shows a DSD file playing. And again, this is my Luxman DA06 DAC. And there's the various inputs you have there. Sony HAP Z1ES. And Sony XA9000 Super Audio CD player. Now I'm going to put the phone down for a second and show you the, um, the interface of the, um, of the HAP Z1ES the software interface. This is on my, sorry for the glare. But you see it's almost the same thing you have on the um, face of the unit where you can select all these different options. You know, albums, artists, you go down and just select any song you want to play from this list. Blood, Sweat, and Tears, or Blossom Deary, actually. So any you can do, uh, select anything that you do on the front panel from the app. And it's more convenient from the app for, me, for, me, for using across the room. It's a really nice software interface that uh, Sony provides, in my opinion, anyway. So it's pretty nice. I'm gonna go across the room and show you my Denon DVD 3910 player. Now this plays SACDs and DVD audio. I bought this at a thrift store, gosh, maybe 10 years ago for $25, $30. And I use it as an alternate SACD player as a backup and mainly to play DVD audio disc. Very competent, very nice, very nice player. Denon DVD 3910. Now, I brought these out to show you. I when I can, I buy, buy backups. Uh, you never know when something's going to break down or stop working. So I have the Sony XA3ES CD player. I bought it at a thrift store, and I, they had a senior discount day. So I bought it for, uh, I think it was a little bit less than $18. I thought it would be served well as a backup or as a transport. It's a nice CD player. I thought I'd bring it out and show it to you. And lastly, I have this. This is a Parasound. Wait to, for it to focus. CDP 2000 compact disc player. Now this is unique because this is a belt drive turn uh, CD player. And for an older CD player, it sounds awesome. It just simply does. I love the detail of this older unit. I bought it at a swap meet for $40. Needed repair, I had to repair the belt inside, but that was cheap to a cheap fix. 
And I'll show you the top part. It's the top part of the unit. CDs load up top. This right here is a stabilizer pup. As you see, the CD lows up top. I have Charlie Parker inside. Stabilizer, stabilizer pup normally stores here, but when you play it, it goes right on top. You close the door. It's a nice unit. I'll show you the inputs and outputs in the back. It has balance, outputs, unbalance, digital out, digital output. Allows you to connect your own audio file, power cable if you so desire. So that is my digital setup. Please leave yours in the comment section below. Thank you very much for viewing my channel. Please like and subscribe. God bless. Love and peace to all.